Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear kids how are you today i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he always keeps you happy and smiling may you never see any sadness grief or unhappy moment in your life may you always remain healthy and energized ameen dear kids before we start off with the story let me give you an amazing tip to remain fit and healthy I think this is a great idea that before every story I'll tell you a tip and you can try it out and see the results for yourself. So without much ado let's get to the tip. The first interesting tip is that we need to stay away from laziness. Laziness is something we need to really stay away from as this prevents us from being useful and happy. Being lazy stops us from doing good deeds. It stops us from working hard. It gets us in trouble with our parents and teachers as well. At times we do not say our namaz our salah on time or read the quran as we are too lazy to get up At times when our mama calls we say sorry we are busy we are chilling right now or if our brother or anyone in the family asks us to get water what do we do we avoid it and we do not realize that we miss out on the reward as well it is such a good deed to give water to someone once a companion of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him sallallahu alaihi wasallam that which deed is the best so he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said saying the prayers on time therefore especially when it comes to our salah we need to make sure that we are not lazy at all so what should we do we should say a dua to avoid being lazy i'm sure your mama knows this dua and you can ask her to teach you as well the dua is allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al ajzi wal kasal the translation of which is oh allah i seek refuge in you from incapability and laziness As you can see children by by this application we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa taala from laziness and being incapable of doing things next time inshallah i will explain you the difference between being incapable and lazy now let's get to the story today i'll tell you a story about a jewish woman who was very sinful even though she was very sinful but she was always ready to help other people she was very kind to the creation of allah subhanahu wa taala she would never shy away from helping even the animals one day she noticed that a dog looked very thirsty he was extremely thirsty and could not find water anywhere the dog seemed to be getting restless and desperate to find water but to no avail it went on pacing around the well of water but could not find any means to get inside and quench its thirst soon it seemed that the dog was losing strength and would die from being thirsty Upon seeing the dog in distress this woman started getting uneasy she wanted to help the dog but had no utensil to throw in the well and get out the water suddenly she remembered that she was wearing leather socks and she could use these to draw out water she did not get lazy at all You know kids how deep and dangerous a well can be it is really deep and it is not easy to climb down so low in a well this lady did not waste any time procrastinating and went down in the well she held the leather socks in her mouth and began climbing down slowly and carefully she went down the steps which were carved inside the well Upon reaching the water she quickly filled up the socks climbed back up and gave the water to the dog and saved its life You know what kids Allah subhanahu wa taala really liked her act of climbing in the well for the sake of a dog she risked her life to save the life of another creature Allah subhanahu wa taala forgave all her sins due to this kind act and this woman went to jannah Subhanallah this story is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari and the hadith number is 3467
So let's reflect upon this story. What lessons do we get from it? The first and foremost lesson we get is that we should not think anyone to be lesser than us. We should give value to all creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should try our best to help others. No work, no good act should be considered as useless or small. Every good deed counts and gains Allah's blessings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees our intentions, the quality of our deeds, not the quantity. We need to always try to be good and gain Allah's pleasure. What we need to avoid saying is that, oh, this lady was not even a Muslim and one good deed led her to Jannah. So we too can do sins and one good deed of ours too will get us to Jannah. No, dear kids, we need to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows all what is in our hearts and minds. So we need to be honest with ourselves and try our best to be good, inshallah. Once there was a very pious lady who locked a cat in a room and starved it to death. This evil act of her wiped all her good deeds and she landed in the hellfire. We need to be very careful. Just like one good deed can take us to Jannah, same way one bad deed can take us to hellfire as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all. Ameen. We do not know what bad deed can lead us to hellfire. So we need to make sure we stay away from sins and make sure we never let go of opportunities to race to goodness. Therefore, when our parents, our teachers, our brothers and sisters, our families ask us for a favor, ask us to do something, we will not say no, but race to help them. We need to look after the animals as well. We need to be beneficial to others. We need to help others and be very mindful of animals as they cannot talk and tell us what they want. Let's end today's story on this thought. Look after yourselves and be good to all around you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.